they made the articulating part in the center and uh, got a Porsche 671 Detroit on it, which I drove them forever. <laughs> they were really, they were a lot that you heard them all through the day, all through the night. I mean, because they were so loud and, and uh, they were, like I said, uh, it was a, pretty interesting to have so much, you know, so much power back then. And like I said, this is uh, probably the the last tractors were built in 71. And uh, I'd say the first ones were probably built in the 50s. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that might be that long a span. Uh, like I said, they're just two rear ends. Front, the, the gears in the front one are turned around. And uh, like I said, they put the put it's got a belt drive. And they, they were a hoss back in the day. I guess I, I would say our first four-wheel drive was a uh, uh, not a 7520, and it was probably purchased in the I would say early 80s, probably more than likely. And uh, like I said, we had these and and probably three regular tractors in it to go, and that's that's what we put 5,000 acres in with. As a matter of fact. And we were stretched from all the way from almost to Tupelo to all the way down to Gregory. They built self-propelled grain carts and uh, they uh, land planes, grain cart, I mean, just regular pull type grain carts. And uh, oh, there's just uh, just miles and miles of stuff that they actually did back in the day. Matter of fact, my grandfather built one of the first reversers for a header on a combine. And uh, he worked a little bit trying to patent it, and I've, I've seen some stuff on that. And yeah, that's uh, it was a really interesting time. And he loved the river, and uh, of course he had houseboats on the river all the time. And that's that was my enjoyable part of the, the day that me and him would take, and uh, I'd be running one of these for you know several hours a day, and he'd come get me an hour or so before sundown. We'd go out fishing. 